Chef Buck here and today we're going to whip up some sweet potato hummus. I recently put up a cauliflower hummus recipe which is fantastic and Angela put a comment on there about sweet potato hummus which I wasn't familiar with. I'd never heard of it. Camera Girl and I made it and it's delicious. It's kind of exactly like regular hummus. You're just substituting sweet potato. Sweet potato is creamy and dreamy just like beans. So you can use this instead of beans and I'm using Kind of a medium sized sweet potato, you know, about the same amount that would fit in a can. Because usually this is what I put in regular hummus. But I'm going to double this recipe. I'll have the recipe down below, or you can go over to myfoodchannel.com and you can check out all the recipes over there. But I'm going to uh, use my mother in law's food processor, which is ginormous. I can almost put my head in here, which you shouldn't do. But I'll make a double, a double, uh, double. So we're going to prepare this just like we would a regular hummus recipe, except we're going to substitute uh, sweet potato for the beans. And I've got two, since I'm doing a double recipe, I've got two cooked sweet potatoes. Now you can cook it however you like. You can cook it in the oven, you can cook it in the microwave. I just microwave these, you know, it's like, like five or six minutes uh, for a potato this size, depending on your microwave. But I didn't do anything special to it, you know, I didn't butter them up or oil them up, it's just plain Jane cooked sweet potato. We'll throw that in there, boom, boom, boom. And then we got some garlic and then tahini. And I like to go a little bit overboard with the tahini because I don't want it to end up being just like a sweet potato puree. I want it to be kind of savory. So a little extra tahini isn't going to hurt. But you can really adjust how much of that you put in there. Then I got a little bit of fresh lemon juice. And since I used fresh lemon juice, you know, I've got some of the lemon zest. And then some olive oil. Extra virgin. Yep, this is a thick extra virgin olive oil. In the last few videos, everybody's been talking about Himalayan pink salt. So Camera Girl went out and bought this. You know, I don't know how much she paid. I don't even want to know how much she paid because I can see from the fancy ingredients of salt that it probably justified the arm and leg. So don't, don't mention any expensive ingredients in the comments because Camera Girl will go out and buy them. And then that cuts into my coffee budget. Live with it, buddy. <laughs> but we'll put about a half a teaspoon of salt in there. And that's all there is to it. Now we just got to blend it up. You could add some black pepper in here if you like, but I haven't been putting any black pepper in here. And Angela mentioned lime. She uses lime juice when she makes this, but we generally buy a lot of lemons. Alrighty. That's looking pretty smooth and creamy dreamy. Smooth enough for me. I don't mind having a little bit of chunks in here. Let me give a taste test here. It's a little thicker than I want it to be, so to thin it out, I'm going to add a spoonful of water here. Well, I'll add two spoons to get it started. Just to add water by the spoonful. Because we want to thin it out so it's a little smoother and creamier, but if, it, but if we put too much in there, then to thicken it, i got to add more potato. And then i got to cook another potato. So I think I can still get it a little bit smoother. So I'll add another couple of spoonfuls in here. But just to add a little bit of water at a time. Don't, don't dump a whole bunch of water in here because you don't want to get it too thin. That's a whole other problem. So I think that's going to be it. I was right. Look how creamy dreamy that is. Sweet potato hummus, and you can use this for all kinds of purposes. You know, you can use it for a cracker dealio, put a cracker in there, you know, on your regular old veggie sticks. Just plop a bunch of it on a salad. Use it for a sandwich spread. You could throw it in a wrap. But it's not a date food the way Chef Buck makes it with no. all that garlic. I like to put a lot of garlic in here because I don't want it to be like a desserty sweet potato because sweet potato can be pretty sweet, hence the name. I mean, there's all different kinds of hummus. You know, when you go to the market, you're going to see the cauliflower hummus, the black bean hummus, the red pepper hummus, the regular old hummus, edamame. edamame hummus. 
I hadn't seen sweet potato hummus, so this is really nice. Uh, so uh, this is our new favorite, at least for the last couple of weeks. So that's it. So just like regular old hummus, uh, super easy to make. So give this sweet potato hummus recipe a try. I'll have the recipe written down below. If you want to check it out or you can go over to myfoodchannel.com. Check out all the recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. Chef Buck Bite!